Let's be honest, Americans really dominate the rest of the world when it comes to most sports, hence leading the Olympics and medals most years. Obviously, they're the best at baseball, basketball, and American football. And they're darn good in hockey, too, though that's definitely Canada's game. Take a look at the MVPs in most North American leagues, and you'll notice most of them were born in the USA. But we gotta show some love for the international stars, too. I'm Justin Fraction, and today we present the top 10 non-Americans to win an MVP award in one of the four major North American sports leagues. And a big shout out to Rory McAuley for suggesting this list. We do hope you enjoy this video, and if you do, feel free to click subscribe down below for more cool videos every single day. And a note, for the NHL Hart Trophy League MVP winners, the vast majority are Canadian. To make things more interesting, we chose to exclude Canadian winners. Now enjoy! Number 10. Vladimir Guerrero Guerrero had a remarkable career that lasted a decade and a half in the majors. The Dominican slugger racked up a career 318 batting average, 2,590 hits, and 449 RBIs. Guerrero took home his first and only league MVP award in 2004 as a member of the Anaheim Angels. That year, he batted 337 with 39 home runs and 126 RBIs. Number 9. Alexander Ovechkin the most gifted Russian NHLer ever, Ovechkin has been a constant 50-goal scoring machine in his career. Hart Trophy No. 1 came in 2008 when he scored 65 goals and 112 points, leading the Washington Capitals to their first playoff season in five years. Hart Trophy No. 2 came in 2009 when he scored 56 goals and 110 points. Hart Trophy No. 3 came in 2013 when he scored 32 goals and 56 points in a lockout-shortened 48-game season. They don't call him the Great Eight for nothing. Number 8. Miguel Cabrera Could he go down as the greatest slugger of his generation? Miggy has certainly made a case for himself. The Venezuelan star won his first American League MVP in 2012. In a season for the ages, Cabrera took home the Triple Crown with 44 home runs, 139 RBIs, and a 330 batting average, leading the Detroit Tigers to the American League pennant. He successfully defended his MVP award in 2013, batting 348 with 44 homers and 137 RBIs. What a ball player! Number 7. Steve Nash The greatest baller to come from the Great White North, Nash won his first of two MVPs in 2005, averaging 15.5 points and 11.5 assists per game. Nash led the Phoenix Suns to 62 wins and reached the Western Conference Finals before falling to the San Antonio Spurs. The Canadian star repeated as MVP in 2006, averaging 18.8 points and 10.5 rebounds per game leading the Suns to yet another Western Conference Finals berth. No wonder Nash is such a hero in Canada. Number 6. Ichiro Ichiro was by far the greatest baseball player in Japan before he moved to North America to play for the Seattle Mariners in 2001. Man, talk about a debut! Ichiro took home both the AL Rookie of the Year award and AL MVP after batting 350 with 242 hits and 888 OPS and 56 stolen bases. Ichiro led the Mariners to a franchise record 116 wins. It was only the beginning for the greatest MLB player Japan has ever produced. Number 5. Dominic Hasek They didn't call him the Dominator for nothing. A Czech native, Hasek was one of the first European goaltenders to become an NHL starter. He single-handedly turned the Buffalo Sabres into a juggernaut during the 90s. He won six Vesna trophies as a top league goaltender. Owen Hasek won two Hart trophies as league MVP. The first came in 1997, after the Dominator racked up 37 wins with a 930 save percentage. He defended his award in 1998 after winning 33 games with a 932 save percentage and a career-best 13 shutouts. Not bad for a former 199th overall draft selection. Number 4. Albert Pujols Pujols has made his case for the greatest non-American hitter baseball has ever seen. The Dominican star is quite the resume. Three National League MVP awards and two World Series rings, all with the St. Louis Cardinals. His first MVP award came in 2005, as Pujols batted 330 with 41 home runs and 117 RBIs. He won his second MVP in 2008, batting 357 with 37 home runs and 116 RBIs. The third one came in 2009 with Pujols batting 327 with 47 home runs and 135 RBIs. Quite the resume, isn't it? Number 3. Dirk Nowitzki Few NBA players demonstrated the ability to take over a game completely in the 21st century like Dirk, the 7-foot-tall German baller. The Dallas Mavericks star took home his first and only MVP award in 2007, averaging 24.6 points, 8.9 rebounds, and 3.4 assists per game. He led the Mavs to 67 wins, the most in the NBA. I tell you, that Dirk guy is pretty good. Number 2. Yamri Yager 
If Wayne Gretzky never played hockey, Yager would be the NHL's all-time scoring leader. That's right, a player from a small Czech city with an awesome mullet would be the highest scorer in hockey history. Despite winning five scoring titles, Yager somehow only has one heart trophy to his name. That came with the Pittsburgh Penguins when Yager scored 44 goals and 127 points. And number one, Hakeem Olajuwon. Olajuwon was born in Nigeria and moved to America to play college hoops at Houston. It turned out to be the greatest decision of his life. Olajuwon was a 12-time All-Star, six-time member of the All-NBA First Team, and led the league in blocks three times. Olajuwon took home his only MVP award in 1994, averaging 27.3 points, 3.7 blocks, and 3.6 assists per game. He led the Rockets to their very first NBA championship that same year and helped them defend their title in 1995. Quite the career, and Olajuwon earns the honors as our top non-American to win an MVP award. Who do you think is the greatest non-American to win an MVP award? Join us in the comment section below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps us out a ton and we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to Total Pro Sports though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.